A stabbing in Indio has left two women in the hospital and a suspect barricaded in a home for hours. We have the latest. Coachella Valley Trump supporters made their voices heard today in downtown Palm Springs as well as across the nation during March for Trump. We'll take you there. Today is something I call a transition day. You started to see a little bit of cloud cover. You started to feel temperatures coming down. What's next? Find out coming up my complete forecast. First in the Coachella Valley, you're watching KMIR-TV Palm Springs, where the news comes first. KMIR News starts now. Good evening and thank you for joining us for KMIR News at 6. I'm Vince Marino. Angela Monroe has the night off. First on KMIR, two women have been taken to the hospital after being stabbed by a male suspect who then barricaded himself in a house. It happened around 12.30 this afternoon when police arrived to the scene. The suspect fled into a house on Santa Barbara Court in Indio. He then barricaded himself inside the home with a shotgun. The standoff lasted for a few hours until Indio police were able to talk the suspect out of the house where he was arrested without incident. But ready to get home when we saw a whole bunch of cops you know, in the area and uh, we tried to get in their house and they told us that we can't come out. Never happened before, you know, nothing like that. You know, just being a nice neighborhood as far as I know, you know, but so happened. A viewer tells KMIR News one of the victims is in the trauma unit, but the status of both victims is unknown at this time. Supporters of President Donald Trump gathered for March for Trump rallies around the nation today and right here in the Valley in Palm Springs. Trump supporters hit the streets of downtown Palm Springs carrying signs and chanting Make America Great in support of President Trump. They say they are happy with his decisions as Commander in Chief. Very important for Palm Springs, the Coachella Valley, the high desert, and all of this area to know that there are Trump supporters that live here. We are here, and even though we are sometimes a bit quiet, we're here. And so we wanted to come out today, join the national group that's across the nation, and show our support for President Donald J. Trump. I, I feel like this should be over by now. Everyone spoke their piece. He, he won. I'm not a supporter. Um, but let's kind of move on with our lives. Another event was held in New York City where Trump supporters took to the streets in support of the president. Other rallies took place in Washington, D.C., where attendees were greeted by counter protesters. Another March for Trump event was held outside of the Ohio State House in Columbus. Counter protesters were on hand at that rally as well. The rallies come as President Donald Trump makes serious allegations against his predecessor, the president accusing Barack Obama of tapping his phone during the election. It comes as Trump associates are being investigated for their ties to Russia. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. President Donald Trump on a weekend getaway to Florida unleashed an early morning fusillade of tweets accusing former President Barack Obama of tapping his phones at Trump Tower in New York during the election. Trump offered no evidence to back up the claims, but compared it to Nixon and Watergate and called Obama a bad or sick guy. Members of Congress, Democrats and Republicans are trying to make sense of the president's accusations. I'm sure he's frustrated um, with um, the back and forth and the, and the politicalization of the investigation into Russian attempts to, to manipulate um, our, ele our elections. And it's a serious charge. It needs to be investigated. I mean, what, what is he referring to? Is he looking at some Breitbart story? And in a statement, an Obama spokesman called the accusation false and said neither President Obama nor any White House official ever ordered surveillance on any U.S. citizen. At a South Carolina town hall meeting, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham, a frequent Trump critic, vowed to get to the bottom of Trump's claims. If the former president of the United States was able to obtain a warrant lawfully to monitor Trump's campaign for violating law, that would be the biggest scandal since Watergate. In recent days, the Trump administration has fought back against allegations regarding its contact with Russian officials during and after the election. <laughs> Trump's accusations against Obama come as Americans take to the streets yet again. People marching in support of the president were sometimes met by anti-Trump demonstrators in cities like Denver, New York, Minneapolis, and Austin. Chris Pallone, NBC News, New York. 
Two senior administration officials tell NBC News that the president will sign a revised executive order on immigration Monday. A federal court blocked the first executive order last month, which prevented travel to the U.S. from seven majority Muslim countries and stopped the immigration of Syrian refugees. While Northern California flood victims are still recovering from the damages to their homes, some are having to deal with yet another problem. Thieves posing as volunteers stealing the only belongings they have left. The robbers are targeting San Jose flood victims in yellow and red tagged homes and have stolen items from clothing to electronics. Police say they have increased patrols in the areas. And when I looked, I seen that they had my daughter's playpen full of clothing, shoes, jackets. They had a shopping cart with my kid's bike. Residents have also increased their vigilance and have considered staying up overnight to keep an eye out on their belongings. Well, I mentioned today was a transition day. Remember yesterday, we had nothing but clear skies out there. And yes, even some people emailed me in to say they had to put on their air conditioner. That's a little soon, but highs yesterday only got up to about 81 degrees. Today, a little bit cooler, and I know you could feel that. A couple of things happening. Our northwest winds are brewing, and so it's just kicking a little bit of cool air. And yes, we saw just a few clouds out there. These are thin clouds. They just indicate the uh, presence of some moisture and some cooler air migrating our direction, but uh, overall still a pretty glorious view outside at times. Mostly clear skies is what I'll call it, but then we do have these clouds trying to knock on our door. Tonight, you're going to notice the clouds are increasing. As a result, temperatures not as cool as how we started your day. Overnight lows should drop down to about 54 degrees. Next three days, this is where it gets interesting. Tomorrow, increased clouds across the board in the Southland. There's even a chance at some showers. Then, as you can see, by Monday, that's all gone. High pressure is back and numbers start climbing. So, what we're going to be talking about in your weather headlines partly cloudy skies and cooler temps. This is all because of our good old friend, Coastal Eddie. I'll explain coming up in my complete forecast. Back to you. Ginger, thank you for that. A hiker injured on a trail near Lake Elsinore had to be airlifted off of the trail. It happened today around 9.45 a.m. on the San Juan Loop hiking trail off of Ortega Highway. The hiker sustained moderate injuries while hiking and could not get back down the trail. U.S. Forest Service and the Orange County Fire Authority were able to find the hiker on the trail and airlift her to an ambulance. She was taken to the hospital and is expected to be okay. And the Wildflower Festival is in full bloom today at the Santa Rosa San Jacinto Mountains National Monument Visitor Center. The festival takes place every year around this time and celebrates wellness, recreation, and the outdoors. Great. So a lot of rain plus a lot of heat equals wildflowers, and that's what we're getting. Oh, we're actually going to set a record. So far, as of 11 a.m. this morning, we had over 1,200 people come through the gates already. Like... Some plants can hold lots of water and they could live way longer than some other plants. The event featured art exhibitors, live music, a beer and wine garden, interpretive hikes, and a kids zone. And Habitat for Humanity of the Coachella Valley was hard at work today, sprucing up a home for new owners in Palm Desert. Volunteers from the Rancho Mirage Rotary prepared an existing Habitat for Humanity home for new owners after the previous owners left. The volunteers weeded the front yard, cleaned out the garage, and tidied up inside so the eager new owners can move in soon. Uh, the family has moved on and they have deeded it back to us, so we're in the process of getting it all cleaned up and spiffed up for a new family. We've already selected a new family, so we're anxious to get it, all of this done and, and allow them to move in. And since 1989, Habitat for Humanity of the Coachella Valley has partnered with families to build strength, stability, and self-reliance through shelter by building and improving homes throughout the valley. Coming up, an officer in Wisconsin saves a two-and-a-half-month-old baby from a locked car. And with the economy going strong, Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen says interest rates will likely start inching up again. And it could happen as soon as this month. We'll tell you what that could mean for you next. The Pavilion at Indian Wells Golf Resort, perfect for your special event. The View Grill, for the large dinner parties and the small and intimate. Exceed your expectations at the Indian Wells Golf Resort. It's all waiting for you. The 
Desert Symphony 28th Anniversary Gala is proud to present Leanne Rhymes in concert with the Desert Symphony, a career that spans more than two decades. Leanne Rhymes. Saturday, April 1st, 8 p.m., McCollum Theater. Reserve seats are on sale now at McCallum Theater Box Office or online at DesertSymphony.org or McCallumTheater.com. We're thinking about a vacation home here, but uh, it seems like a lot of work. Well, it's no work at all. We just bought at the Residence Club. Everything is taken care of for us. It's a million-dollar home for a fraction of the cost. Enjoying family time, relaxing at our pace, and making memories. All we do is show up and play. Plus, it includes golf membership at PGA West. The Residence Club at PGA West. Your vacation home made simple. Woo, that was close. Uh-oh, better get Mako. For a limited time, Mako's half-off paint sale starts as low as $2.99. Mako, America's body shop. Martina McBride. Live in concert, Saturday, March 18th, 8 p.m. Spotlight 29 Casino Showroom, performing all her hits. Plus new music. Martina McBride. Tickets are on sale now. Buy tickets at the box office or at Spotlight29.com. Martina McBride, live in concert. Spotlight 29 Casino, the Valley's best bet. KMIR News is brought to you in part by General Air Conditioning and Plumbing. Call the General. Texas believes their home and property was the target of a hate crime. Marcus McGuire and his husband, Wilson Nash, woke up to find their rainbow flag missing from their front yard. Officials say the couple found burned remains of their property along with U.S. mail inside of their neighbor's mailbox. Carlton police are investigating the incident. They say the act could be considered a hate crime and federal offense because of the arson to the flag and U.S. mail. Neighbors are standing united with the couple by flying rainbow flags in front of their homes. And an officer in Wisconsin is being called a hero after he saved a two and a half month old from a locked car. The incident happened at the Red Line Bar in Menasha, Wisconsin. Officer Tony Edwards responded to a call about an intoxicated and disrupt disruptive man at a bar. That man turned out to be 53-year-old Merritt Cox, who left his daughter inside of a car in freezing weather. A bartender was trying to find him a ride home when Cox said he had to check on his daughter. Officer Edwards quickly went into dad mode. Recognition. We don't want the notoriety. We just do it because it's what's right to be done. And the people that I work with, they do this stuff every day. It just doesn't always get a picture taken. The two and a half month old was taken to a nearby hospital to be evaluated and later reunited with her mother. As for her father, he was taken to the Winni Winnebago County Jail for child neglect, disorderly conduct, and resisting an officer. And there is news for. Anyone uh, who's considering buying a home or retirees on fixed incomes, Federal Reserve Chairwoman Janet Yellen said the nation's economic recovery is showing strength, with unemployment holding under 5%. She also says interest rates will likely start inching up again as soon as this month. NBC's Tom Costello tonight on what that means for families across the country. After a record week on Wall Street today, another vote of confidence in the U.S. economy. As the chairwoman of the Federal Reserve strongly suggested its interest rates will rise by a quarter point in March, with two more increases likely later in the year. The U.S. economy has exhibited remarkable resilience. Despite a rate hike in December, interest rates have been holding at historic lows for nearly 10 years to help the country recover from the Great Recession. So what does the move mean for Americans considering buying a home? Today, the average 30-year mortgage is 4.10%. On a $200,000 30-year mortgage, the monthly payment before taxes and insurance would be about $966. If rates go up by a quarter point, the monthly payment would go up by $29 or $348 a year. If rates go up by a half a percent, the mortgage payment would be an extra $59 a month, $708 for the year. Lauren Davis is a realtor in Maryland. Spring inventory is coming on nationwide. And interest rates are likely on the rise, so if you're planning on buying a home, now would be an excellent time to lock in that lower interest rate. But it's not just mortgage rates. 
A lot of Americans, especially retirees, depend on fixed income instruments like bonds or CDs or even bank accounts. And for them, rising interest rates are a good thing. Tonight, more signs the U.S. economy is on firmer ground. Tom Costello, NBC News, Chevy Chase, Maryland. Straight ahead, a boy born legally blind has been given the gift of sight thanks to a high-tech pair of glasses. We'll bring you that emotional story next. There is a little bit of rain headed for the Southland. Will it impact us? Find out coming up after the break. Starting Sunday, it's the big new Help Us Get Justice. NBC Sunday. Go! Steve Harvey's back with new little big shots. Why you don't have any hair? Then, the premiere of the next Dick Wolf drama, Chicago Justice. I'm not going to lose. Don't. And... NYPD! Season 2 of Shades of Blue begins. You're dragging me back in. Three big shows, one big night. Start Sunday, 8, 7 central on NBC. Holland RV Centers in Palm Desert offers the best selection of new and used RVs. Top brands like Newmar, American Coach, Fleetwood, Leisure Travel, and more. Got a new 2016 Fleetwood Bounder for only $124,998. Off I-10 in Washington or at HollandRVCenters.com. Look up. Your free power is waiting. The sun is beaming down energy every day. Capture yours and start saving with award-winning Renova Solar and Sun Power Panels. The most advanced panels available from a 30-year-old American company. Purchase a system or lease with no money out of pocket. Renova Solar, a Sun Power Elite dealer. Look up. Your free power is waiting. Children are among the most vulnerable in our society. The physical pain and emotional toll many of them face can have lifelong consequences. If helping these children matters to you, then make March matter. Because March is when we all come together to support the partnership between the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center and Children's Hospital Los Angeles right here in the Coachella Valley. So if keeping children healthy and secure matters to you, go to makemarchmatter.org and find out how you can help today. Palm Springs is famous around the world for its modern architecture. And Tessera is well experienced in building outdoor spaces celebrating this design. Tessera will deliver your vision on time, on budget. Give us the opportunity to bid on your next outdoor dreamscape. Call or visit Tessera today. Holland RV Centers in Palm Desert offers the best selection of new and used RVs. Top brands like Newmar, American Coach, Fleetwood, Leisure Travel, and more. Got a new 2017 Mobile Suites Luxury Fifth Wheel, only $139,850. Off I-10 in Washington or at HollandRVCenters.com. Today we started to see a little bit of cloud action along the coastline in Southern California that's really going to start beefing up. And as that happens, what we could potentially see is a little bit of rain activity. Okay, now this is not monster moisture at all. It's just some intermittent cloud cover that's actually independent of a more sizable system that you can see up in the Pacific Northwest. But even this guy doesn't have a ton of moisture associated with it. The bigger concern with this guy is an abundance of cold air. It's nice and organized. It's got that nice, well-defined eye, counterclockwise rotation. So this is a powerful system. What we're dealing with is what I call a coastal eddy. That means it's working independently of the rest of the weather going on up and down the west coast. So it's very unstable and it's hard to predict. But what we watch is wind and cloud cover. And notice what's going to develop tonight. We're starting to see more of that cloud cover rolling in over head zeroing in on the Coachella Valley. You can see tomorrow morning, okay, we've got some spotty showers. None of this is really anything to write home about. And also notice none of it is able to traverse over the mountains. So this coastal eddy moisture is very weak and unorganized. So in order for it to actually push on through, well, it's going to need a lot of wind and that's just not in the works. But you'll see by one o'clock tomorrow afternoon, still some more showers hanging out around the pass. And that's going to continue through about the five o'clock hour. And then this is going to break 
break apart. So we're not completely free and clear in the Southland of some intermittent sprinkles tomorrow, but it does look like it's going to stay west of the valley. Meantime, uh, temperature wise, yeah, there's going to be a nice recovery. Numbers along the coastline in the mid 60s for you and me. We're going to see mountain clouds off and on cloud cover by the afternoon as the mercury, yes, tumbles into the 60s. That's not normal for us. Cooler numbers across the board overnight as well, courtesy of a little bit of moisture and, of course, that northwest wind. So, over the next seven days after we get through tomorrow, which is still going to be a nice day, it's just going to get better uh, throughout the next week as high pressure returns. Numbers jump right back up into the 70s and our warming trend settles in. We're looking for the upper 70s by Wednesday. And, yep, you guessed it, mid to even upper 80s next week. Back to you. Thank you, Ginger. A four year old Texas boy born legally blind starts a new chapter of his life with the help of an East Texas community. Reagan Roy has the story. Well, you better give me a hug. A big hug. I see you. I see you. Born with a neurological disorder, Christian has been legally blind his whole life. He doesn't know that he's missing out, you know, missing out on some vision. He, he just sees life as it, as it is. Using a cane to get around, he has overcome all of life's challenges. But Friday morning at Sabine Elementary School, his new chapter began. I can see you just die. With the East Texas community coming together holding fundraisers, Christian was able to receive a special set of glasses which allow him to see. Does it look better? Yes. Hopefully, you know, it will help him out uh, at school and being able to see things that he hasn't been able to see. Where is the next place you want to go to see everything? The Caterpillar Equipment. <laughs> Embracing family and friends, Christian, for the first time, is able to see the beauty which has always been around him. Where is this? Look, can you see? I got my hard hat. <laughs> and what else do you have, Christian? Glasses. Have them walking around and, you know, maybe go to a park or something. They can see everything that he hasn't been able to see. You're not my girlfriend from France. <laughs> God's blessed him with the ability to, to, to speak, to create bonds with people. He, he's definitely a blessed child and, and we look forward to what, what is going to happen in the future. Yes, I see him with my glasses. With my glasses. You say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs> that was Reagan Roy reporting. After the break, the music streaming service Spotify reaches a new high in paid subscribers. We'll tell you more. The battle for Kong Skull Island. KMIR teams up with Warner Brothers Pictures for advanced screening of the big blockbuster. Pick up your tickets on KMIR this Monday from noon to 2 p.m. or until tickets are gone. Our exclusive screening is on Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. at Regal Rancho Mirage 16. I'm Manny the Movie Guy. Meet me at our KMIR studios in Palm Desert for your Kong Skull Island tickets. The Desert Symphony 28th Anniversary Gala is proud to present Leanne Rimes in concert with the Desert Symphony. A career that spans more than two decades. Leanne Rimes. Saturday, April 1st, 8 p.m., McCollum Theater. Reserve seats are on sale now at McCallum Theater Box Office or online at DesertSymphony.org or McCallumTheater.com. Beautify your desert landscape with a perfect lawn that needs no water. Install synthetic turf. Installed by Tessera, builders of outdoor living spaces for 30 years. It requires no water and is low maintenance. Use this high quality turf for lawn areas large and small. Take strokes off your golf game without leaving your backyard. Save thousands in upkeep. We all must do our part during this drought. Save water and stay green all year long. Call Tessera to design your new synthetic turf landscape. Experts say replace your mattress every eight years. So at Sleep More, we've created our longest finance program ever. Buy a Tempur-Pedic mattress and pay no interest for eight years. Yes, you heard it right. Eight years. That's 96 months with no interest. If you've been dreaming of a better night's sleep, get the mattress of your dreams, a new Tempur-Pedic, and pay no interest for eight years. The stuff that dreams are made of. Tempur-Pedic and Sleep More. Inside more furniture for less. 
Chevy is the most awarded car company three years in a row. Really? Let's see how quickly you can read through all their awards. 2017 Motor Trend Car of the Year. Kelly Blue Book 2016 Best Resale Value. 2016 JD Power Highest Quality Ranking. Wow. 10 Best Blah Blah Blah. 2016. Only about 90 more to go. That's a lot of awards. <laughs> Now through March 13th, get 20% below MSRP on all 2017 Spark, Impala, and Sonic models. That's over $8,000 on this Chevy Impala. Visit your Coachella Valley Chevy dealers today. A laceration hazard has prompted the recall of thousands of electric blowers sold exclusively at Home Depot. That story tops our look at consumer news. The recall involves Ryobi 8 amp jet fan electric blowers sold from December 2015 through December 2016. The plastic fan inside can break, causing the fan blades to be discharged from either end of the blower tube. One World Technologies has received more than 10,000 reports of incidents, including 25 reports of injuries. Consumers should stop using the product and contact One World Technologies for a free replacement. About 121,000 of the electric blowers are being recalled in the U.S. An additional 1,900 were sold in Canada and 1,100 in Mexico. And Spotify has hit a new milestone. The music streaming service says it now has more than 50 million paid subscribers. That's 10 million paid subscribers added since September when Spotify announced it had acquired 40 million paying customers. Spotify's biggest rival, Apple Music, had 20 million paying users as of last December. And if you weren't famous enough to make it to the Oscars this year, you can at least look like you did by stealing some of the star's hottest styles. Mike Weber has more. I call it perfection. Yep, the ladies slayed the red carpet at the 2017 Academy Awards. Find a pop on the carpet I tonight. You and you look stunning as well. Tell me about this. Well, we can tell you how you can get these designer looks for a whole lot less. I like perfection, that. Perfection, baby. This is Kaufman Franco, and then this is Tiffany. Super, well, super cool and super expensive, no doubt. Jessica's gown absolutely cost over $10,000. So gold and silver or gold? Or? I, I think a little bit of both. I rented this gown for only $70 from Rent the Runway. The longer sleeve, the beautiful high neckline, the column silhouette, it really fits all women's body types. And instead of Jessica's $2 million necklace, we swooped this one for only 34 bucks. This is um, Alberta Ferretti. Head to toe, Taraji's look costs well over $70,000. How do you do it? I don't know, I just do it. <laughs> and now you can do it too. I recreated it with this beautiful gown from Bloomingdale's that I picked up for only $295. It's always party. Complete the look with a shiny necklace and... A slit is such a beautiful detail to really amp up a simpler gown. And Michelle Williams turned heads in a black and gold dress. Which can cost upwards of $20,000. We recreated this look all together for just $500. The trick here is actually playing with separates. Pair this one piece from Ari for only $34 with a gold statement skirt. But unlike the other dresses, this one requires a petite frame. Not every woman can wear such a dramatic plunging neckline. But you can make tweaks to that and really make it work for your body type. Mike Wilbert, NBC News. Coming up, there is no love like a mother's love, and these pandas are proving it. More on that ahead. Returning home to see your kitchen in shambles due to water damage is a headache you don't need. When your pipes have burst and turned into the thing of nightmares, it's time to call the best name in plumbing, the General. The General is no longer just the best name in air conditioning. He's now the best name in plumbing. No matter when the plumbing emergency strikes, no matter how bad it is, call the name you trust. For more information about our plumbing services, visit callthegeneral.com. Callthegeneral.com. Mathis Brothers has more recliners than anyone else in the state, all at guaranteed low prices, with extra factory savings made possible by our incredible buying power. Like these recliners priced under $300 with easy reclining at the touch of a button. We just made a special purchase on this Lazy Boy rocking recliner, only $362. And this overstuffed recliner by Lane is a great bargain at just $499 with push button reclining. They're all in stock now, so come get yours at Mathis Brothers. The Pavilion at Indian Wells Golf Resort, perfect for your special event. Creative selections, customized menus. The view grill for the large dinner parties and the small and intimate. 
exceed your expectations at the Indian Wells Golf Resort. It's all waiting for you. Aerial photography on KMIR News. Provided by Big Blue Air Helicopters, Bermuda Dunes. Where can Big Blue Air Helicopters take you? And there's nothing quite like motherly love that's evident in this adorable video of Mother Panda showering her cub with love at a panda breeding research center in China. The little guy slips from his mother's embrace, but she's right there to play with him and wrestle with him. The mother's son duo appear to be enamored with one another. Thank you for joining us at Kmart at 6. We'll see you at 11.